right now on the special prime time edition of NBC Bay Area News. They can finally lay her to rest. The family of Alexis Gabe closes a dark chapter with a public memorial in the East Bay. Plus, crews gaining ground after flames break out near Lake Berryessa. We've got an update from firefighters. And hundreds turned out this weekend to celebrate freedom as we mark Juneteenth across the Bay Area. Thanks for joining us on this special edition of NBC Bay Area News. Mm. We're on right now because of the U.S. Open. I'm Gia Vang. And I'm Terry McSweeney. Nearly a year and a half after police believe she was killed by her ex-boyfriend, Alexis Gabe's family is finally laying her to rest. Gabe was 23 years old when she disappeared back in January 2022, and we've been covering the developments in her case since then. Her memorial service coming to a close, NBC Bay Area's Alyssa Gord joins us there live. And Alyssa, you spoke with Alexis's father. Very tough day, very tough day ahead of Father's Day. Terry and Gia, an extremely tough day. The service is just wrapped up here in Concord, and this is a day that the Gabe family was hoping would never come. When we first interviewed them last year, they remained very hopeful that they'd still be able to bring Alexis home alive. Now, there is some solace today, as some of Alexis's remains have been released to the family, so they can finally now lay her to rest. About 50 friends.